Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing a 15 minute session for a client. We've got some really lovely goals here. We're gonna explore a message from the inner child, healing for the sacral chakra, any soulmates in the universe who have a message. Um, we're gonna be exploring these goals today. I wanna thank you so much. This is to the client. Really lovely to connect with you. I'm excited to see where this takes us. Thank you so much for sharing with us here on YouTube. I'm going to read your goals word for word here, and then I'm going to dive in, see what comes forward. So you say, messages from my inner child. I want to heal my sacral chakra. If there are any soulmates who have messages for me, I'd love to hear from them. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Inner child, sacral chakra, soulmates, earthbound, beyond earth. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, I'm gonna relax now in the zone here. There's a moment of patience. There is some sense of digestion from the universe, as in your goals are heard, received. There's a translation. I don't know what it's saying just yet. Okay, there is a child here. There are three doors. Each door looks identical. They're kind of interesting looking. I want to say they're outlined in an orangish gold kind of glow. They are wooden heavy boards, maybe four massive, like four wide boards, okay. Dark kind of reddish brown. And they come to a point at the top. So it's sort of like rectangular and then triangular. <laughs> and there's also a handle here. And they're all identical, okay? So we have one, two, three. This handle is round and I'm trying to pull. It seems to be stuck, this first door. This child may be one years old. Seems to be just wearing a off-white color, off-white blanket, a little bit of hair on the head, very cute. I am actually guided to pick up the child, which represents you, and help you get through this first door. We're gonna start with this first door. They're telling me that it's not necessarily conceivable, might not be what was identified in the goals per se. So I'm carrying this child represents you, may represent then inner child, okay? And this first door is a bit stuck. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, it seems some like some angel just like whoosh <laughs> came on down to the ground on the other side of the door. But the whoosh was like whoa, whoa. Well, it hit me with some wind. And it kind of surprised me. Because I'm focusing on trying to get this door open out of nowhere. This sort of landing in the whoosh. <laughs> it seems like you're asked to ask for help, okay? I represent you trying to do the obvious thing without realize you need, realizing you need to ask for help. So you are holding your inner child at a stuck door. You're asked to ask for help in opening this one. Seems like spiritual guidance. Maybe it's of the human world. I don't know. So I represent you right now. You're holding your inner child. You are your inner child as well. And I am using your own voice to say, okay, I could use some help here opening this door. The echo instantly comes back saying, it's understandable you don't even know what this door is that you need help opening. So there seems to be some doors that might not be part of your brain <laughs> to even think to ask for help with this thing. <laughs> so uh, kind of inconceivable would be hard to ask for help. 
So you could start saying in your life, if there's anything that's like a stuck door that I can't even wrap my head around the idea of it, I'm asking for help from the universe opening it and even the help to even understand about its existence and gain some clarity so it can be a part of my life. So this may be something big and new happening here for you. I don't know. Uh, okay, so this is a male angel. He's an oddball, okay? He's an oddball because he's made out of shapes. It seems like he's made out of some kind of metal armor that is odd abstract shapes made out of white. His hair is very thin and long. It's, it's like a white blonde color. He's very noticeably white. Shapes are obvious. There's shadow that sort of separates each shape from each other. The wings are made out of shapes with shadow. There's no, nothing ever further than a gray. All right, so it's white to gray shadows. That's it. With this sort of white blonde, sort of lo long, thin hair. It's not balding up here, but it, it's oddly thin, like thin threads. It's, it's like I want to say sacred abstract geometry. <laughs> An angel of some sacred abstract geometry. <laughs> because I keep thinking it, all right? I'm just going to say it. Angel's bit creepy is now on the other side of the door, like in my face, like I'm looking right into his face <laughs> and he's looking right into my face, <laughs> like nose to nose, like, come on now. Is this, is this really necessary? <laughs> Holding you, the inner child, as I'm also you helping you <laughs> have this conversation with the universe. Okay. Angel is challenging your boundaries. Your boundaries need to be challenged. Angel is basically on your feet, stepping on your feet right now. Nose is kind of going into your nose. Takes hand, places hand inside of your chest and on your heart and grips heart. Eyes are inside of eyeballs, like this angel's eyes are in your eyes, like really taking over, walking into your boundaries. This is one of the most pleasant experiences you could ever ask for, by the way, as odd as it is. There is some kind of breathing room about this. Almost like this angel isn't going to put up with what your insecurities are. This angel loves you enough to walk into your boundaries, which isn't as challenging as you seem to interpret it would be. It doesn't seem to be about this baby yet. You're relaxing. You're not thinking much. The angel loves you a great, great deal. You've not been listening. You've not... He says it's not as if you're not listening. You're not allowing. And you need to be allowing your boundaries to be challenged. You sl silently whisper, you're starting to find your own voice here because it's not about me helping you be the voice. You are starting to have a voice of your own and you whisper, what about the inner child? You say that. He basically says, stop. Stop focusing on... It's almost like this inner child thing is a bit of a sidestep to what is mattering most. So you're separate, it's like you're separating yourself from yourself to create this inner child conflict that isn't there as much as you believe it's there. Wants you to become whole and now 
face this new thing, which is going to help propel you forward. So this is let go of this inner child thing. That's how he's communicating. Okay. Think in your own time, what feels right to you, but that's how he's communicating. Okay. This is, this is hard actually. He, he's very, very adamant that this isn't as important as you keep insisting that it is. I, he, he's very strong in, on that stance. You're diverting your attention to something that you are in pain about that not the essence or the central location for your focus needs to be on this other focus about the boundaries and letting almost like you do have soulmates they're in many forms they need you to let them in your boundaries are keeping them out there you're meant to you're meant to have them in your life but if your boundaries are basically suction straight around the outline of your body then there's nobody in your life uh, it's not exactly like that but this shows me that your boundaries are really suction to you you want some type of energy communication soulmate level communication it doesn't feel it, it yes planet earth always planet earth yes interdimensionally it seems like more than just here okay there's a lot of messages a lot of conversation here let me in <laughs> uh, now i'm being returned to the original memory of the door is stuck you made it that way and then you created the illusion that it was you that couldn't open it but it was you that kept it stuck so that others could not ever come in so this perception needs to be made clear You kind of like to focus on, because you're kind of asking about the other doors. <laughs> is what, what you're kind of like, you're very mouse-like. You're like, okay, about the child now? Okay, what about those doors? <laughs> you're like very mousy about it, like really quiet and timid about it. It's kind of odd because why aren't you more like, who are you? <laughs> why are you in my face? <laughs> Why is this so important? It, so it's interesting where your mind is going. <laughs> okay, let, let's, let, okay, let's just honor that and let's see what the response is. Yeah, Angel's not going to talk about it. Okay. Wants you to say, I welcome your help. I see you. Thank you for crossing the line here. Thank you for stepping on my toes. Thank you for eye to eyeing me. Thank you for putting your nose on my nose. Like, thank you. It's weird. It's like you are, it's odd for you to ask for help here. It's like taking away your right. It's like taking your rights away to ask for help. It's strange. Okay, it makes sense though. It's just not like I wouldn't have thought of it like this. Okay, when I ask for help, I am letting go of my right to help myself. <laughs> it's, that's pretty interesting. Okay, let's see. Yeah, because you something is lacking in the excitement of living here. Because I, I see that you you don't want to go there, but you kind of do in whispers and little breadcrumbs. And it makes an odd shape. That's just like an arrow that starts at 12 o'clock and starts to go to maybe 4 o'clock. It's just like this little weird arrow and this little few little dots of you saying, Okay, help me. <laughs> and it's just like so minuscule. And then all of a sudden, whoosh, angel, abstract, sacred geometry or something. Um, intense hand on heart actually lifts you up off the ground and pushes you um, into what can only be described as a very exciting music box. Like, 
<laughs> it's just like, oh, what is this? Okay, so yeah, there's no, it's like looks forceful, but it's long overdue and you need to get in here already. And a little bit of yourself wants to be bossed a bit. It seems like you want to get bossed a bit. Is that, is that true? You don't, you are renouncing your freedom to help yourself, but secretly you want to get bossed by somebody who's going to overstep their grounds with you and push you into a music box of excitement of life. Are you like a mind games type person or what? <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Okay. You are, okay, this is where we're, we're going to, this is where you're going to be, all right? This angel is absolutely an awesome BFF, okay? <laughs> and intense in all the right ways, random in all the right ways, long overdue. It's like you've been eating oatmeal for too long, time to have, I don't know, some eggs and bacon or something. It's like flavorful because of the oddities and you're in the music box dimension which is a bit strange it's like um many shapes of different sizes sparkly stars and um dancing it, it's the dancing is not like people dancing it's like uh shapes are dancing and lines are moving um, changing shapes, uh, stars are spinning, twinkling, there's sound of all different rays of color, okay? Sound of all different vibrations, intensities, silences, and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like the symphony of life. And you've wanted to focus on inner child healing, sacral chakra healing. You know, this is actually all that stuff. And yeah, soulmate, let's let them in help you they've got your back by the way they got they've got you and you need to be almost like you need some dynamic expansion so let them in because they're gonna they're gonna offer flavor to your life big time and they you need to be reminded you need to be told about the inconceivable door because you need to be open to actually saying, okay, I'm going to acknowledge there's doors that I'm not going to have a clue about. And because that is believable, because <laughs> we can't know everything, um, I'm going to say that whatever is suited for me that's inconceivable, I'm not going to shut the door. I'm not, it's not blocked. I'm opening it. I'm welcoming my soulmates and the beings that love me throughout the universe, every dimension and time that are here to actually add flavor to my life. I welcome you and I love you. Thank you. And now trust, like trust fall into the reality that there are great things happening for you here, new energies to be had. And it's, it's not about inner child and it's not about sacral chakra per se, because all these things are coming to life by doing the thing. Asking the soulmates to come in is already going to be mending it. Not because we're looking at inner child and sacral chakra, but because we're looking at soulmates that then are going to indirectly and yet directly heal inner child and sacral chakra. So that's, that's what I've got for you. Cool message. Thank you so much for this. Thank you so much for sharing. Any of you watching, if you'd like a session with me, I'd be honored to look at anything you got going on there. You can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a beautiful day, everyone.